Yo, what up, fam? It's your boy D Tripper in the motherfucking building, and I'm I'm bringing you three tips in five minutes. Five minutes, three tips. Oof. And this is gonna be on Instagram. Um, Instagram for beginners, like the real basic tips. I think this is where you begin the platform. So this is where it has to, to count the most. I think people just go in and don't really have an idea what they're doing, and they just want to share some pictures. That's cool. But if you are looking to grow it and you are looking to make it a solid foundation, these are just three quick tips with D D tripper okay well first one is is pretty simple and this is probably the most important is you got to be clear about what you're about if you've got a picture of a dog and you're you're like i don't know some chick trying to sell flowers see how that makes no sense at all everything has to match up and you have to be very clear if you are either got a product or a service or a model or you're modeling yourself, or even if it's just um, humor, you have to be very clear. You have a bio, a picture, and two names. One's a, one's you know you can two, get two versions. One's a username, and one's your actual name. So you can use all of those, and they got to be super clear, niche, niche, niche down on it. Like understand what you're gonna be using it for, and making sure that is super clear. And when I mean clear, like you can you can have your name and then if your location cafe you can have the location is a part of your name auckland city cafe down below it so just use all the things that you've given to, to your ability to make it as clear as possible to everyone out there so if they are coming across you and they're 50 50 on it that your words your pictures and your name will change that 50 and towards going towards following you um yeah moving into number two would be name and bio your name and bio has to be all what you're a out man if you converse shoes then converse shoes the best converse shoes in auckland city is the second part of the name bio bio like you gotta play with that sometimes you know depending on what your niche is again knowing what to use like what's catchy like i noticed some um, a lot of makeup ones they have pins and like really sharp it's very informative whereas um say you're a surfer and you you want to get sponsored by surf brands and stuff sometimes they use an emoji with one word sometimes they use a couple of emojis sometimes they put the location gold coast australia surfer dope down like that if you're a musician um point them in the direction of where you can because underneath the bio you can add a website that website can that take them to anywhere if you're a youtube channel Trying to get them to YouTube, you want to give them a reason for pressing that link down the bottom. If you're OnlyFans person, trying to get them to your OnlyFans account, have something on there that captivates them and know exactly who you're trying to target. Once you know who you're going to try to target, name, bio, and website have the link to be able to net them into a situation they wish to follow you. Not only follow you, but be an ongoing consumer of your content. That's what you really want. Um, and number three, the, and again, these are the basic tips for when you first, first begin. Be clear about what you are, who you are, and what it's about. Number two, bio and name. Name and bio connected with the website. That is super easy and super important, guys. And number three, you got to be interactive. You can't expect people like get a hundred thousand followers and you never say peekaboo to any of them. You've got to be interactive because it's about building connection. Like, and that's what it's about. Connections change from face to face to online. If you can build that connection with people, that is more important than anything because that brings that human aspect into it. It makes you genuine and it gives the people what they want. And that is, that is key to it. You got to, you got to give them more the audience, the people consuming your content more than you're asking for. So give them positivity, give them motivation, give them sexiness, give them entertainment, give them humor, give them whatever it is that you are giving them in abundance. So when you do go, hey, but hey guys, I'm selling this mug, I'm selling this t-shirt, I'm doing this concert, I'm supporting this charity, people will jump to move forward. Why? Because you're connected with them. You're connected with them. You're connected with them. Super key, super key to um, any social media. So number one, Make sure it's clear. Number two, your name and bio. Work on it. Change it. Try things out. See what works for you. Sometimes they don't. And honestly, for, for searches too, super important. And number three, connectivity and be interactive. And here's a free tip for all social media people and people going on social media. Be your beep self, man. That's so key to like everything. I'm, I enjoy all my social medias. I am myself 100% on them. And everyone enjoys it. Why? Because I'm real. But it's just because I'm really being myself. It's not a competition about fake and real. It's about being yourself. And these were three tips in five minutes with your boy D Tripper in the m m building. Building. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed that. If you do, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Say it three times because hopefully you'll do it. And nothing but love, peace, and positivity, people. <laughs> Ow.
bro.